guys. So you like avocado, right? And you know that this is an avocado, right? But how do you get inside it? I'm Jen Saboten of FuelYourTransformation.com and in this episode of Basic Kitchen Cooking How-To's, we're going to get you inside this avocado without squishing it all up and making a mess. So, all you're going to need is a ripe avocado. Now, to select a, an avocado that's ready, it should be dark, the skin should be dark brown, and when you press it a little bit with your thumb, it should have a little bit of give. So it shouldn't be rock hard, and you definitely don't want it if it's squishy. Uh, if it's squishy, it's going to be overripe inside, and it's going to be kind of mush. So just a little bit of give when you kind of put some pressure on it. So you're going to need the avocado, you're going to need a sharp cooking knife, and you need your cutting board. Now, I'm getting ready to make a lunch here, uh, and I need avocado for that. So this is a perfect time to show you. So. First thing you want to do is be sure that if there's any uh, little label or peel uh, label on here, sticky label, peel that off. All right. So take off that little sticker. You don't want your knife getting stuck in that and going the wrong way, uh, and you don't want that getting into your avocado. The other thing is there's a little place right here where the stem attaches. Uh, you want to just get your finger in there just a little bit, and you can pull that right out. So pull that out again so that your knife doesn't hit it and go sideways and, and mess things up. So take that little area out. Now, inside the avocado is the big pit, the seed. So you want to be careful. You have to take that out. You can't just slice through this. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to take your knife, and again, be careful. You're going to start at the top, and you're just going to press that down in. Okay, it goes in very easily. Press it down in until you hit that pit. Okay, so it's stopping there. Then you're going to just carefully twist along the edge, and I'm just rotating the avocado with the knife pressing into that pit. And if you're afraid of holding it like this, I'm holding it up so that you guys can see it, but you could set it down on your cutting board. Let's see if I can get that in the shot. There we go. You could set it down on your cutting board and just sort of rotate it along this way so that you, you weren't worried. But I want you guys to see what that's going to look like. So I've gone all the way around, all right? And then you're just going to twist it. You're going to take one hand on one side, one hand on the other, and twist them in opposite directions. And it comes apart. Easy as that. So this side is ready to go. I'm going to set that down for a minute. This side we have a little bit more work to do uh, because it's got the pit in it, right? So again, you're going to get your knife out, and this is the part that a lot of people mess up on. They try and dig it out or with a spoon or cut it out or, or pull it out. You don't need to do that. So watch this little trick, all right? And again, you want to be safe. I'm going to do it holding it, but if you feel better, you could put it on the cutting board to do this step. So all you're going to do is take your knife and hit it into the pit, and then just give it a little bit of a twist, and it comes out. Easy. So now this side is perfectly clean. Now, to get this out, again, you don't want to reach to the blade and, and fight that. You don't want any kind of accident like that. So you have two options. You can either do this on your cutting board, or I sometimes just do it right over the trash can. You're going to hit the edge of the knife on the cutting board. Oh, there it goes. That's why I do it on the, the trash can. That was fabulous. Live. There it goes. Anyway, if you hit it on the edge of the trash can, it'll fall right in. Right now, I'm going to go get that in a second. All right, so you've got your avocados, and they're perfectly ripe, just the right size and, and just the right amount of ripeness in there. Um, we see, let me see if you can see it, a little bit of a greenish edge, and then it goes a little bit to a lighter green in there. So next, you're going to take your spoon, all right? And you're going to get it in that, the big edge of the avocado. So one side is smaller, one side is bigger. You're going to put your spoon in there on the big side. And then you just work it along. You just kind of rock it back and forth. And again, I don't want this to go shooting. So there we go. Rock it back and forth. And it comes out. You have, let me bring that up so you can see it. You have a perfect half of an avocado right there. I'm going to do the other side as well. So here's the second side. Again, get that spoon in on the large edge, rock it back and forth. This is when I need those overhead 
cooking cameras in my kitchen. So there it is. And then you can see it. So I've got two halves of avocados there. Now, you could do whatever you need uh, with them. You can certainly cut them up and put them into a sandwich or a salad. You could mash them and make avocado uh, into guacamole. So again, you can just slice this. And here's a tip for you. Avocado slices, first of all, they're a great snack. But secondly, guys, try these on a BLT. Seriously. Between the creaminess of the avocado and the saltiness of the bacon, totally amazing. So I challenge you next time when you get your avocado and you open it up, put a little bit on a BLT. Right now, I'm going to use this as a snack, but I'm going to make some tuna salad for my lunch for tomorrow. Uh, I will include that recipe for the tuna salad in on the blog. So if you check the blog post with this video later, you'll get the tuna recipe as well. All right. Take care, guys. Hope you get to try an avocado soon.